Alright guys, Birdman here. I got me one of these uh PP 160s. It's a eight bank noise toy for your radio. Right? It was given to me as a Christmas present present this past Christmas. The Christmas of 2013. Right? Today's date is 11 14 15. So not 13, forgive me. It was given to me the Christmas yeah, the Christmas of 13. It's the first time I'm using it and had to program it. All right. It came with a power cord. It came with this harness, with the loose wire at the end. And it came with this harness. Switch. Headphone jack. Headphone jack. And that connection. It came with instructions. And it came with a CD filled with like 2,000 different sound modules, sound bites. I want to talk to you guys about the large harness, which actually programs this PP160. The directions are written here. This is how it came. The directions suck. Bottom line. They are garbage. I got on the internet and I found this. Floating around the internet which shows you three different methods of programming their toys. On the bottom there it says how to record from a computer. Okay? That instruction pertains to this part, the third part of the leaflet that was found on the internet which essentially pertains to this product right here okay it took me some trial and error to figure out how the hell to program this thing it was quite annoying quite annoying but I'm going to simplify it. There was one other video I found which was done in French. And I know I'm not the only person hunting down a way to program this thing. So now that I figured it out, I'm going to make this video so anybody can find I'll figure it out in English. All right, let's go. So the first thing you need is a way to get the sound out. So from your computer or Walkman or CD player, your MP3 player, whatever. My computer speakers sport that, a headphone jack. So 
if I plugged headphones in here, I would lose the function of the speaker, but I would be able to listen through a headset, disturbing nobody. So, in there, you would connect this part of the harness. Now you'd be like, Bird, what, what part is that? Because as you saw earlier, there's two of them to the harness. Now, I'm gonna try to bring all of the pieces to the harness into the view. That's all of them. The switch, male, male, female. What I'm covering with my right hand are the wires. And that's the harness, all of it. Okay, so, make your life easy. Find the switch and see where the switch connects to. And the switch goes two wires to that male to that male adapter. You see it? So the switch is the control which controls this adapter. It's not that. You want this one. You want the one not controlled by the switch. You want to take this male adapter and put it right in there. Hold on. Okay, so now you took that male adapter and you stuck it into your audio source. You come to this piece, female, right? What's going to happen is this female should go to an external speaker. So what I got here is an external speaker that I use for testing with the Radio Shack external speaker. You're going to take your external speaker and you're going to mate it. Okay. You're done with that. What you have left is that mail and the switch. It is this mail that goes into the noise toy. So you would pick one of your sockets and you would plug that mail into it. Each socket correlates to the, to its switch. Okay, so you would plug that male adapter into there. Once that male adapter, I don't know if I can reach. I can't, but I'm already programmed. But once that male adapter is plugged in, right here. All you will have left is this switch. It's a momentary switch. 
in the back of the module because obviously if you're looking at this video you have the module that module the noise toy bank you have it in front of you if you look in the back of the module there's a toggle switch center is off left or right is on either way you want to operate it you're going to make sure the switch is on the off position you're going to take your power harness and you're going to power up you're going to bring power to the module okay at that point what you're going to do is find the noise or the sound bite you want to use so I'm just going to make life easy and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to YouTube and I am going to open up a song if you find my music offensive too bad okay now I'm going to raise the volume So the music is coming out of my external speaker now. Okay. Now. You're going to take this switch, you're going to hold it in your hand. Remember, this part is plugged into the module already, so you're done. If you're following along, your plug is plugged into the module. Everything is ready to go. At, that, at this point, what you're going to do is you're going to turn the switch. Oh. You're going to hook up your microphones, of course. The module comes with a with a cord that plugs into your radio and then you plug your microphone into the module. Okay? Now, now you're ready. You will put the switch on the on position. And then you will hit the button. Boom. And you hold it down. So you'll time it to what it is you want to record. And the module is going to be waiting now. There's nothing else to do with the module. You're all synced in. So now the module is going to be waiting for your signal. So when you're ready... Boom, you will hit the switch and you will hold it down. And you'll be watching your media player. And when you're done recording, let it go. Then put the switch down. Don't touch anything. Then what you're going to do is, once that switch is down... You're going to go to the back of the module and you will turn the module to the off position. Once the module is in the off position, then you can pull your pin out. That pin. This one right here. If you pull the pin out, and the module is not in the off position, you will not get your sound module byte programmed in. 
and you'll be sitting there chasing your tail. Okay? Then you would hit the button, key your mic, and your noise toy would fly. Gone. And you're done. So, I'm going to go through this one more time. A little bit quicker. In the beginning of the video, you follow everything I did. Pause the video, start the video, rewind it. You will have it done the right way. Let's go. I'm going to go through it one more time. external speaker goes to that part of the harness okay the switch and the male adapter which are interconnected directly see them black and red wire connects that together directly this this one here will go to the module bank. The other male adapter will go to your speaker, MP3 player, Walkman, CD player, tablet, wherever. Power and microphone will be in. You will be on the off position. You will stick this adapter into one of the holes you fire off your uh, media player on your computer then you will turn the switch to the on position in the back because you'll be in the off position and you want to go to the on position when you're ready you will hit the button hold it down when you're done with your recording let go of this button Come back to the module. Do not unplug that male pin yet. Put the module in the off position in the back, then pull the pin out. You're done. That's the way it works in English. All right, guys, I hope everything uh, goes to your liking there. The Birdman says good morning. Bye, 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 bye.